Hey, how's everybody doing? If you saw my Facebook post earlier, uh, you knew this video was coming. Uh, so here we are. Imagine that. Uh, actually, I just got done watching um, uh, a movie. I hadn't watched it. I remember actually watching it now, uh, once before. I knew I had watched it once before because it was out of the plastic. The ones I haven't watched are still in plastic. But uh, I was going to watch a movie called Me and My Mates vs. the Zombie Apocalypse and the damn DVD's not working. It'll go up, come up to like the uh, the menu screen and it'll show like live or you know actual like footage you know, clips from the movie in the background but it doesn't have like a cursor to to move between you know like play movie or scenes or the bonus features or whatever. It's, uh, must be a glitch in the DVD or something. So, so I opted to watch Zombie Night with Anthony Michael Hall instead. It's actually a, pr a pretty good movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend check it out. Anyway, here we are, and as fitting, I've got my Z chest here. This is actually the Z chest from September because they normally ship out around. I want to say like the 20 around the 20th 21st somewhere in there I think normally and I normally get them about the 25th or 26th and uh, I've been waiting a little while for it and I got the tracking number but every time I clicked on the tracking number all it said was that the label had been printed and uh, I finally got around to contacting um, Z chest, especially after I went on and looked at, at when I actually got the last one, and I, I got it about the 25th of August is um, when I got it. Um, so I was thinking, well, I, I should have got my Z chest by now. Something's wrong. So I contacted Z chest and let them know, you know, I, the tracking number still just says the, the label had been printed and hasn't updated at all. And uh, they ended up checking on their end and, and come to find out that it must have just got lost in the mail somehow. Not exactly sure how a big box like this gets lost in the mail. But apparently it did. And I'm thinking maybe it, um, I don't know, maybe something happened to the label or something and then it got rerouted back to them or whatever. But anyhow, so I don't know whether this was the one they originally sent or whether this was the one that they made up and sent back out to me. Um, but either case, they said they'd send me a, a replacement and here it is today. So, I, I'm almost thinking that maybe that's what happened because this box looks a little, uh, it looks like it's been over taped compared to the usual. So I'm wondering if maybe it got damaged in route Something happened to the label, and it actually couldn't come to me, so it got sent back to the Z chest. And when it got back, they, you know, tried to fix the box as best as possible and sent it back to me. But uh, it was nice they sent sent this one priority two day mail uh, rather than just a regular whatever they normally send it first class whatever. So, it's kind of fitting. I just watched a zombie movie and now we get to uh, open a, a Z chest. And if you're unfamiliar, if you just happen to be watching one of my videos for the first time, welcome. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy yourself. Um, the Z chest is a monthly mystery subscription box um, where the Z stands for zombie. So, everything you get in the box has something to do with the living dead, the undead ghouls, you know, re reanimated corpses, however you want to put it. That's what they have to do with. So, that's the first box we're opening. I also got two mist two uh, mist wondrous mystery box of splendor from 20 Toys that I, I've been buying off of Amazon. And I suggest you check them out too. You can go to 20 Toys. Actually, I, I think it's just Toynick or Toynk, T-O-Y-N-K dot com. 
and uh, check it out. Or you can go on Amazon, just type in Mystery Box, and it'll probably be one of the first ones that come up. They look like the, the Mario coin blocks from the Mario game. That's what they're boxed in. And you'll see. I don't know. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. All right, so first we have... We have a letter to me. Time for chills. Hope you have a truly wicked Halloween. Dear Joseph, we are truly sorry to hear about the misfortunate loss of your September Z chest. As an apology for the issue, I have added a few extra items to the box. I truly hope that we continue to earn your business and that we can continue to improve our products and services to you. I can't make out that word. Please let us know if there's ever a reason and we will always strive to make it right. Best regards, J. Andre. That's really cool. You know, Z Chest, Z Chest, if you're watching this. Um, I don't really plan on going anywhere. Um, worst case scenario is, you know, I live in Ohio, so the, a few of the winter months, money gets pretty tight. Um, so, worst case scenario is I might have to halt getting the box. Just maybe, maybe like, you know, January, February, March. I'm hoping we have a good year this year and we have, you know, I don't actually have to turn my furnace on until about my birthday, like mid-November. That'd be great. Um, and then hopefully I can, you know, struggle through and maybe, you know, I'll get get it, you know, even though I won't be doing any outside work at work, maybe they'll have some extra stuff for me to do inside, you know, inside painting and so forth. Um, so I can, you know, at the very least get, get 40 hours or maybe even a few extra and uh, hopefully struggle through and possibly continue to get this. Um, but even if I can't Z-Chest, I guarantee you, you haven't lost me at all. I know sometimes things happen in the mail. It's not the first time I've had a package or something I was expecting not show up on time because it got lost. You know, United States Postal Service is not perfect. They do one hell of a job. But with all the stuff they're trafficking back and forth you know, not a very good word to use I guess for right? trafficking um, you know what I mean you know, shipping back and forth you know between them and UPS FedEx I mean I I'm actually surprised more stuff doesn't get lost I mean my hat's off to the shipping companies because they do a hell of a job um, like I said worst case scenario I might and I say might and of course I'll give you fair notice if I have to Z chest but um, if I have to stop it for a few months, that'll all, it'll just be for a few months. You know, once the warmer weather starts coming around again, and I know I'm going to be getting, uh, you know, be, be doing all the outside work, landscaping, and so forth, and uh, you know, be sure to have the extra money each month. You've got me hooked. I, this is one of the best subscription boxes um, you can get in my eyes. I mean. There are other ones that are that are really good that have really good items. You know, I get I get comic block too, and I absolutely love it from nerd block. But this really appeals to me because of zombies, and I love zombies. So, yeah, and the fact that you took the time out to include a, a handwritten note. Uh, yeah, amazing. All right, we're not going to look at that. That's like the little cheat, 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 whatever you want to call it. Okay, this feels like really weird. Look at, I don't know what it is. All right, we've got a little, a little zombie-looking um, plushie, I guess you would call it. And look at that. That's pretty cool. It's got a little suction cup on it, so you can like hang it in the window. <laughs> he's it's a zombie musician. He's got a little guitar there. A little two-string guitar. That's the kind of guitar I need. 
Yeah, I've got a guitar there. I got an ESP AX50 that you know, I have yet to learn how to play. Probably a lot easier for all heads two strings. But uh, that's pretty cool. You can use that as a Halloween decoration, which eventually, probably not this weekend because I'm pretty booked this weekend, but maybe the next weekend I'll probably uh, end up uh, putting Halloween decorations up. All right, here we go. T-shirt. I love the fact that they send them all different colors, too. Not just black, not just white. They're always colored shirts. That's really cool. But, uh, I'm trying to get this to where I can see it, too. Yeah, pretty simple. Just a uh, decomposing zombie on it. I like the color. That's pretty cool. You can never have too many t-shirts. Alright, next. Something in plastic. We've got... We've got a little necklace that looks like a brain. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably just like hang it up. I'm not real big on, on necklaces. Not because I have anything against them or anything. It's just... Yeah, I'm, me and jewelry don't get along. Uh, rings. Uh, to give you an idea, when I, when I was engaged... Actually, one time at work, I because I'm a firm believer that if you're going to be engaged, it shouldn't be it shouldn't just be the woman that wears an engagement ring, showing that she's engaged or that she's taken. You know, when I'm with somebody, I like them. You know, I like everybody to know that hey, I'm taken. You know, leave me alone. You know, she's got my attention. Nobody else matters. So to do that, um, my fiance at the time had got me a gold, just a gold band, to wear. Fortunately, it didn't fit completely snug, so the one day at work, when I took my gloves off at work, it came off with them. So I actually had to dig through a thing of trash, <laughs> fun, fun, uh, and find it again. After that, you know, she wasn't, I mean, obviously nobody's going to be real happy if there's a reason why you can't wear something like that, but she understood that, you know, it'd be better for me to at least you know, I mean, I had it with me, but for me to not wear it when I'm working, that way I don't lose it. Okay, next we have a ink pen. That's another thing. You can never have too many ink pens. Right. That is one cool ass ink pen. Yep, you know right. That'll be a perfect ink pen to keep right in here. I need like a little, little thing to like stick it in. You know what I need? I need like a little, like styrofoam, a piece of styrofoam. I got styrofoam out in the shed. I ought to get a piece of styrofoam and cut it to make it look like a brain and just stick that in it. That's what I'll do. One of these days. All right, next, we got a book. Hey. Good call. Good call. I have a full library upstairs. Granted, the majority of the books I have not read because I rarely have the time. And when I do have the time, uh, I read a few pages and I start getting sleepy. Because, you know, I, I work a lot. And I'm not complaining about working a lot. But I'm just, that's just the reason why I don't read as much as I'd like to. But this is a book called Pay Me in Flesh by Kay Bennett. Right there. And it says it's a Mallory Kane zombie at law. How many dead lawyers does it take to defend a living soul? Just one. So. That's cool. Can always use more books. Nothing else that will give me something to do in retirement. If people my age can actually get to retire, you know, the way the country is right now, <laughs> yeah, that might not happen. Might have to work until we literally keel over. They can just bury us where we stand. Or fall, I should say. 
Oh, here we go. A lot of people like this. It's like a little, uh, like knapsack, I think. Gotta have an opening on it somewhere. I would think. Maybe it's Velcro or something. Yeah, that's stitched. Or maybe it's just like made, uh, Well, it looks like it's it's completely stitched all the way around. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Alright. I see now. There's a zipper. It's a tiny one. But, yeah. It's like a little nut. But, you know, actually what it looks like is, uh... There it is. The Walking Dead. It looks like a, uh, um, a pillow cover. I don't think I have a pillow this size. I think my Raiders pillow is a little bit smaller than this. So I'll have to measure this and I'll have to get a pillow to put in it. Put that on my to-do list. All right, next we've got another little, what is this? Voodoo Mini Friends. Looks like a little keychain type thing. Let me get it close. It's like a little uh, kung fu fighter, like voodoo doll. I'll probably just set that aside again. I mean, I I have I have a lot of keys. That, that's my keychain. Is a lot of keys. That's what I have on my keychain. Uh, the ring itself. Um, I don't actually really use too many actual keychains, but again. Kind of like jewelry, uh, you know, I, I lose them or I break them. <sighs> Next, we have a light bulb. This is uh, good for Halloween too. It's a flickering light bulb. So, I'll have to check that out. See how it looks. I can use that one. Halloween. Oh, we got another book by uh, the same guy, K. Bennett. It's another Mallory Kane zombie law. This one is The Year of Eating Dangerously. I can't say, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard of K. Bennett. I might even have a hardback up there by K. Bennett, but I don't, I don't know whether it's a zombie. Next, we've got some little, like, puffy, little puffy, it looks like Plants vs. Zombies stickers. Uh, I don't know. I might put those on the bar out there. I put a lot of stickers on my bar, out in my my sports bar. So I'm gonna put those up. There. Next, we've got that. Can't tell what it is from the plastic bag. It's cloth. I can tell that much. And it is I'm assuming it is like a mask yeah it's a mask with velcros in the back like that hey that'll come in handy in case the zombie apocalypse ever happens Let's say on it. Exports. Actually, that might come in hand for the Ohio winter I was talking about. Alright. Last, uh. There's a decal. That one's pretty cool. <laughs> a zombie with a big axe in its head. Yeah, I'll definitely put that one on the bar. And, man, hey, did you put a, oh, here's another. Another. Another thing is stickers, so maybe I'll keep one. I'll 
give one to my my daughter. See if she likes them. All right. Next, oh, another pen. Look at that one. It's like a zombie finger. See now, I, now I got two of them. I can stick in the brain. All right. I heard something. Oh. Here's the little. They include one of these little buttons in each one. So there's the little button this time. I'll put that over with all my other little buttons. And then we have a Funko Pop. Which is cool. And this is from Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. That's Mr. Darcy. Um, so that's pretty cool. Like big, big thumbs up. I, you know, I kind of like Funko Pops. I don't collect them nearly as much as like my cousin Treg. He's got like rooms full of them. I'm sure his wife just loves that. Hey, maybe she might. I don't know. But yeah, he's got quite a collection. So. But I do like Funko Pops. I think, you know, in, in the level of detail, whoever initially, I mean, the guy at, at Funko that came up with the idea to do these in this style is an absolute genius. Because they are literally amazing. But yeah, there was definitely um, quite a bit in there. So, again, Z Chest, you know, I hope somebody from Z Chest watches this video um you actually didn't need to include the extra stuff i mean I've, I've been so impressed with the z chest every box i've gotten that um like i said out, outside of the months that i might have to cut back just because of of you know higher bills around here um i plan on being uh pretty much a, a lifelong subscriber as long as you guys keep making the boxes i plan to keep getting them as as often as possible um, so rest assured that if you if you do see a, a not not a cancellation from me, but if you do see me writing you to saying that you know I'm going to have to put a halt on the box, rest assured it's only going to be for a few months. Um, unless we get really lucky and Ohio doesn't have a winter this year, we can we can dream, right? I mean, I'm not a complete Scrooge. We can have snow. Okay, Christmas Eve it can snow. Okay, it can start early in the morning, Christmas Eve, it can snow all the way and be all snowy through Christmas, and then it can warm up and it can start melting again. All right. All right, let's real quick, this the, the stuff that was actually included in this box was the spinal pen, which is that one. The guitar zombie 12-inch plush. The umbrella corp. Okay, that's what that little icon was it looked it looked a little different than than what I'm used to seeing like on in Resident Evil but uh the umbrella core face mask <laughs> I like that uh walking dead pillow yeah just stuff with fluff and let the zipper hold it all in yeah I'll probably actually get like just an actual small pillow to just stick the whole thing in there and the zombie scribble t-shirt so those five things were what was originally in the box so that means the two books the other pen the Funko Pop the stickers the necklace the little like voodoo charm thing and the light bulb was all extra that they sent because they felt bad about my box getting lost so Z chest, you, I mean, you're blowing me away again. Um, got no complaints, none at all. Even if it, even if all you had sent was the just the regular box by itself, those items are worth the uh, the price of admission, if you will. Uh, but hey, everybody, I mean, this video is 24 minutes now. If you're still watching, I apologize. I'm not going to get into the other boxes right now um, so we'll just call this video um, a, a quit for now and then I'll do another I'll do another video um, for the boxes
the mystery boxes from Toynick Toys. Um, if you like Z-Chest, you love zombies, um, by all means, go to zchest.com, sign up. Um, if nothing else, give them a shot. Sign up for the month-to-month -month thing. There's no, you're not obligated to do it for any certain amount of time. You can go on if you just want to try it. Go on, get the first month. Um, if you love it, then it'll keep recurring. Or you can go on and you could probably go on and change it and then go ahead and sign up. I mean, honestly, if, if I had the money, if I had the extra money to, to spend. Um, in fact, maybe next year, before winter, I'll think about maybe doing that. And, and signing up. You know, to where I have enough money where I can sign up for like the three or the six month plan. That way I'm sure to get it through the winter and I not have to be you know getting charged again until you know three or six months later so yeah maybe I should have thought about that before but when I first signed up for this I didn't know whether I was how much extra money I was gonna have month to month so I went month to month not complaining um, if you like zombies go on give them a chance check them out you will not be disappointed that's all for me. This is Just Your Average Joe with his um, September Z Chest unboxing. Um, look around, there should be another video. Um, at the time you're watching this, um, there should be another video out there with the mystery boxes. So, see ya!